So how do Chinese Amazon sellers feel today, 2021? Account shutdowns, a lot of other stress. Talk about it today at Global From Asia Podcast. Let's tune in. Welcome to the Global From Asia Podcast, where the daunting process of running an international business is broken down into straight up actionable advice. And now, your host, Michael Michelini. So, Mike here, Mike Michelini, host at Global From Asia. I'm taking a walk in the courtyard here in Futian, Shenzhen. Full circle for some of you that don't know. <laughs> started a podcast here, started a lot of business here, and been back here now a bit over a month and trying something new in today's show. Today, we did a Global From Asia meetup with Hai Mao Hui, an amazing Chinese seller community. Uh, just is September 2021, and I brought this camera here with me. Uh, we're doing this in video and audio format, so you might be listening to this on iTunes or other audio players, so you might not see me, but hopefully you can hear me well. And we're talking to them. We, after the meetup, I just grabbed my camera, talk about four or five different sellers in English and Chinese if they were not comfortable or able to speak in English. And we did a lot of work on this one. It took a little bit extra time, but I think it's a little bit extra valuable. So let's tune in. We're going to put captions. We're going to dub over English for those that spoke in Chinese for the international community. And let's really hear what they have to say. Shout out to our sponsor, Mercury.com. Amazing, totally free, easy, online only real US bank account for connecting your seller account, Amazon, your PayPal, other online and traditional ways of making payments. It's a great choice and we also have a little bit of bonus for you and for us at globalfromasia.com slash mercury. Thanks again for sponsoring and supporting the show. Mercury. What's your name? My name is Lee. Lee, nice to meet you. Thanks for coming today. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. So we're talking about the uh, the market of Amazon today in 2021. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you said you're not. You used to be a Amazon seller, but now you sell on your own website. Yeah, I give up the Amazon. I do shop by now. I shop by my year. Why? Because uh, Amazon seller is very a lot of and the company pay also a lot of the price uh, little no much profit and also hard to marketing also but uh, you can do some fake review like this bad thing and uh, the supplier also a lot of uh, product everyone do. so no no choice if you can't uh, uh, have your own uh, greater product you can do long time so I want to do some different and the website is an opportunity. So how long were you selling on Amazon before? Two years. Okay. Yeah, two years, yeah. And now it's one year your own website? Yeah, 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 own website. That's I great. still close. So close. Yeah, and yeah. then uh, Google Ads or Facebook? Google Ads, Facebook Ads and Instagram. Instagram ads. Yeah, okay. I, I do some sense. Dryer and my mom. If it, it, it feels uh, you close, it's very beautiful. He can't from anywhere to buy it, give you back from you. I think you can do some different product. Not really cool. a very big computer. Nice, nice. And also, you don't need to buy a lot of product at once. You not put the money in the stock. When you have order, you can buy. Oh, uh, so it's drop yeah. ship. So you ship from China? Yes, yeah, because close is very hard to do some stuff. Great, so it sounds like it's going well. It's Congratulations. Yeah, I'm happy. Thank you. Happy. Thank you for sharing. How is Amazon today? The condition, the market on Amazon. Is it, asked, what is the impact of Amazon's policy on Chinese sellers? Chinese. Honestly, influence is too big, very bad, very bad. Why? Why is that? Many of the previous top big sellers, or the brand, the account is sealed. The fund is sealed, which will definitely be affected. Then their employees will also be affected. Some sellers have dropped to 1,000 from the original 2 to 3,000 people. And now they have dropped to hundreds, even all collapsed. This time as I know, there are about more than 50,000 sellers, and it has been blocked accounts. Why do they think that happens? Like what's the, what reason, do they know what reason or do they think what reason? That is to say is the impact of Amazon's policy. The seller violates their policies. 
Control comments, that is, what we said brushing. This is also caused by the Amazon platform itself. Because their review weight is too big. Chinese sellers are saying that if you don't do brushing, you will be waiting for death. What you do is finding death. Heard of this, like, it's like a washing. Uh, uh, review. They review. Have review. What do you think is the future of the of Amazon selling on Amazon future? Do the people trust it? I heard some people are selling on like Shopify or, or uh, Walmart. Yes, many Chinese sellers are turning to other platforms. Of course, they will still do Amazon, but their weight on Amazon will put down. Will go to Walmart, Shopify, or China's AliExpress, including other local platforms. This is inevitable, and the Amazon seller will have to do it for survival. Anything else you want to add? I think the future of Chinese sellers should have to go back to the supply chain, focus on the product, only focus on the supply chain. The seller doesn't need to control the comments, and it is also necessary to have a thick-scale development, which is inevitable. If the Amazon platform policy makes us do changes, we must change. If Amazon does not change its review policy, this problem cannot be cured. Including Amazon's own self-service, they are putting some gift cards. Amazon have a double standard. They opened and closed their eyes on their own shop, and they still put their gift card. But for other third-party sellers, they are sickle, cutting, double standard. All sellers say that this time that Amazon is not just trying to catch the illegal review problem. This time, those who get in trouble are all Chinese sellers. It is more a political behavior. But for foreign sellers, American or European, they won't have any trouble. We know that some of our Chinese sellers who also have foreign country accounts will have no problem. So maybe this is the political reason between countries, political behavior, in the name of this illegal review problem. This has always been a double standard, which is particularly unfair. Therefore, the Ministry of Commerce of China has also spoken. I won't say more here about it. However, we still have to come back to our own sellers to cater to Amazon's platform policy and start to move towards compliance, which is the right way. Thank you. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Okay. In 2021, now Amazon seems more difficult. What What's your opinion? I think this year is the most difficult year for Amazon sellers. But Amazon platform still has a chance. Some good stores accumulated in Amazon should continue to do it smoothly and insist on doing it. Wait until there is a good opportunity to develop such an angle. Why do you think the policies have changed or become more difficult from Amazon now? First, Chinese sellers made a lot of money in Amazon last year. As a result, many sellers came to Amazon this year. This competition is very big. This is the first point. The second point is that Chinese sellers have made some illegal ways, which has become more and more diversified and more serious. This has led to the suppression of these by Amazon platform, which makes us, Amazon sellers equally difficult to move. Amazon rules are strict, and we find it equally difficult to move. Okay. How do you think sellers in China will change from, from this? What, what is the future? I think it means that Chinese sellers will reduce the way of serious violations, or no longer use some illegal cards. However, if they are still controlling the review, maybe Chinese sellers will continue to do it. Amazon is still semi-supported. Uh, is there any other parts you'd like to add? I think it will be more and more difficult to do it on Amazon platform. This is a reality, but opportunities and challenges coexist. However, we have been working in Amazon for several years. With the accumulation of experience, suppliers, supply chain and capital, the demand is getting higher and higher. If you can do well in these aspects, as an Amazon seller, you will have the opportunity to continue to survive on this platform. Thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, here's Alex. He's been on the vlog before, man. It's great yeah. to have you back. So we're talking about, you know, Amazon, and we're here in China in the center of the sellers. Uh, you're an Amazon seller, and many accounts been getting closed. It's a hot topic in China. So it, I'd love to hear your insights. Why do you think this is happening? In my opinion, and also I also heard a lot of uh, rumors. The first thing is because of the black hat. 
operation about uh, how sellers manipulate the reviews. So I think this is the top reason for that. But I, I'm not sure about the, for Chinese sellers. But I also heard for black hat technology, I was being told that there are even like Israeli sellers and Russian sellers. They are very good at this kind of technology too. So. I also want to ask you: Is like if this is only closing down the Chinese sellers, it's unfair. Yeah, I, I feel similar. Most of us are hearing it's just happening to China-based sellers. Mm -hmm. Even Chinese sellers with U.S. accounts, I'm, I'm hearing that's not happening to them. From my understanding, it's mostly China-based sellers that are happening. But then again, what a lot of people will say is like, oh, but that's where the black hat is. A lot of Chinese sellers are black hat. Not all, but ma many. Yeah. So some people say that's why, but then some people feel like it's political, like trade war. You know, maybe it's another version of the U.S.-China. Even some people we talk to today feel like it's political. I, I'm not sure about that, but I think it's more because of the manipulation of the reviews. reviews. If Amazon is doing the same to other country sellers, then I think not political. Uh, okay. it's, it's more like a, their own operation to to do this. I mean, this is a good operation for other sellers, for those the small and medium sellers. Uh, who they focus on their own products yeah. and they're trying to uh, really deliver a very good product and yeah. they're doing an honest operation. So I think this is good to these small and medium sellers okay. in the long run. So what do you think is the future of you know selling on Amazon? Yeah, I mean this is interesting. People are saying in China we have Timo and Taobao. Firstly, we have Taobao. It's like a, so Timo is more like a branded stores. So in the future, maybe Amazon might have this kind of operation too. Like a, for normal products, they have like basic, mm. and for those curated SKUs or curated brands, they might have another version for higher, like Timo. So that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, and also I think in the future, the curated products and creative brands is going to be the tendency as seller you should focus on more about interaction with your customers and uh, you also need to build your own platform or your own social media okay. accounts so in this way you can accumulate all the customers contacts to your own place. So I think the quality and the content and the interaction with the consumer should be very important in the future. Great. Yeah. Thanks Alex. Really appreciate it. Okay. Great to see you again. Sure. What do you think of the Amazon seller market today? 2021? At this stage of Amazon sellers, it is a stage of refined operation. Amazon's policies will be more and more strict. But strict policies do not mean bad things. It will better balance the market. So that means more high quality products and high quality sellers. Especially Amazon Chinese sellers. Can promote more high quality products to consumers all over the world. The accounts being closed, why do you think that's happening? There are two points in the situation of Amazon's market last year and this year. One is that the market reduced. It is affected by the epidemic which makes many consumers wallets empty. On the other hand, Amazon's own policies now reduce some illegal sellers. After eliminating these sellers, many quantities, including fake reviews and brushing, will be reduced. This part of the quantity is also within the market of reduction. Some bad products, some inferior products and the brushing shop have also been well ranked before. If they will be kicked out, the overall quantity will also decline. What do you think is the future of Amazon and e-commerce? In the future, Amazon will still become a good platform for its development. But the competition will be more intense. Because many people will jump in the seller game. There are three kinds of people who come to join in the seller game. One is a B2B manufacturer who has been engaged in foreign trade for many years. This kind of person is still greatly affected by the epidemic. These people will want to find another way. Amazon platform is a good sales channel. They sell their own products on the platform. 
they have a competitive advantage. They have the advantages of capital and supply chain. It just needs experience. At the stage of Amazon shuffling, a large number of experienced talents will come out and hired by these new sellers. And they will do better on the platform in the future. There is also a kind of people who join in the seller game indiscriminately. At the beginning of this year, many sellers made a lot of money on Amazon. This kind of people just saw that everyone has made money. So they will come and do it. This kind of person is also a part of it. Another kind of people are traditional Chinese e-commerce platform sellers. Chinese e-commerce sellers have many competitive advantages, such as Taobao and Tmall. The competition has been very fierce. These sellers have a very large operating capacity, capital and supply chain capacity. They will also become a direction when they turn to Amazon. These three kinds of people will become new sellers of Amazon in the future. And these people will also bring better products to Amazon. Of course, the competition will become more and more fierce. Your business is software. Do you want to share about your ERP software? As for ERP, many cross-border e-commerce sellers are using it. But many sellers are not familiar with ERP. The ERP we do is mainly for the three kinds of people I just mentioned. We can help them quickly understand Amazon. How we make money on Amazon and how we do Amazon. How do we sell it? What can you make money by selling? For factory sellers, or transformation sellers, or investors in Xinjiang. These people need ERP to help them manage their products. Any other things you'd like to add? Don't need to advertise. It's embarrassing to advertise. We're also in the spirit of helping sellers do this. We also hope that more seller friends are willing to come to know our Ling Sing ERP. We really hope that our ERP can empower sellers, create more profits and help them save more costs. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in to a globalfromasia.com podcast. We're deep into the episodes, almost 400 shows, and always trying to experiment and learn about new types of content, different styles. I have a feeling we're going to do more like this. Although this was a pretty big investment. We had to have a, a lot of translation, captioning, voiceovers. But I think with today's world of so much content, we want to stand out and we want to bring you some really original, on the ground insights of what is happening here in the seller community in China and let them speak for themselves, not, not various reporters and news and, you know, what Chinese media says or Western media says. What are these sellers saying themselves? So I really hope you enjoyed this show. We're doing some broker deals with buy and out Amazon sellers. We've got some pending, got some going through the works just in a couple of months. It's quite a long process, but we'd love to work with you. If you're interested at globalfromasia.com slash broker, we'd love to uh, see if you're qualified and if we could make a deal together for selling your Amazon business. That's it for today. Mike Michelini here. Global from Asia podcast over and out. To get more info about running an international business, please visit our website at www.globalfromasia.com. That's www.globalfromasia.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to our iTunes feed. Thanks for tuning in.